Hola amigos, welcome to my channel. My name is Danny, otherwise known as Pink Donkey. If you're new here, in this channel I do gear reviews, I talk basically anything and everything about filmmaking and photography, as well as tutorials and some of the stuff that I do behind the scenes. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Canon 24mm EFS f2.8. Now let's get right into it. Let's begin with size. This lens is tiny. I actually, the first time that I put on my camera, didn't even look like it had a lens actually. People won't look at you and think like, oh, look at the photographer with the big lens, you know? You just have a very low profile looking lens. Best part of it all, in my opinion, is that it's an f2.8 because it gives you a fantastic flexibility with low light. Now let's talk about photo. It is a very, very sharp lens. Here I've got a couple of examples of pictures that I just took in my backyard this morning. And as you can see, all the lenses, all the, all the photos are super sharp and basically amazing quality coming out of this lens. All of these photos have not been edited they are just straight out of the camera. You can shoot portraits. Here I'm gonna put a couple of shots that I did of myself just in the garden. As, as you can see, it looks really good for portrait as well. And also here I have some sample footage that I did as well in my garden. And as you can see, the colors coming out of this lens, well, obviously complemented by the Canon colors that as we know, they are pretty incredible straight out of camera. So none of this footage has been edited. All I've done with this footage is that I shot it with my Canon ADD at 50 frames per second and it just has been slowed down to 25 frames per second. That's why it looks a little bit slower or a little bit like a slow motion effect. Is this lens good for content creators or YouTubers, bloggers? Well, all of this video is actually filmed with this lens that we're talking about. I think it's, you know, so easy to set up. It brings uh, it, it's a great frame size if you know what I mean like I've got this lens only like what like a meter away from me like it's literally sitting just on my desk my computer is just here and yeah it looks it works really really well for content creation and I mean you don't have like a crazy amount of shallow depth of field and like blurry background effect but it does have a little bit as you can see and the closer you get the more blurry background effect or bokeh effect you will have. It is a great lens for filming yourself. Now, is it good for blogging? I'm going to play some footage right now of me holding the camera blogging. So I'm out here just in my garden walking around and I just wanted to do a little quick test on basically how this camera will look if you are out like, using it for blogging. So as you can see, because it's a 24 mil lens and it gives you a a crop on the crop sensor camera obviously so it makes it more like around a 35 mil so you can see that you know it doesn't show like your full um, torso but it does show your head really well which I actually don't mind at all I have a like a really small tripod and yeah I actually think that it doesn't look too bad at all so um, I'm just gonna go through a little bit of sun here so I might get a little bit blown out but let's reach the shade here. So yeah, anyway, that's a little bit of a test for you guys to see what this camera would look like if you were blogging. So walking around, using it, I actually think for the price and the size of it, because obviously a bigger lens is gonna get heavier if you're holding it like this with your hand. It's actually, really 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 good <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about autofocus this lens actually has an STM motor which is one of latest one of the latest Canon technologies I believe it's absolutely silent but I'm talking like you won't hear anything at all when you are shooting with this lens in autofocus it is so smooth as you can see on some of the footage here it's so quick and it's so fast and it's absolutely smooth so if you shoot in autofocus, a lot of the time, this is a fantastic lens. 
For the manual focus, you have like a little switch on the side to activate it or deactivate it. It is quite small, the, the focus ring, so it's not as nice on the fingers because it obviously feels like you would like it to be bigger. But again, this could be an advantage because of the size. You have a very small compact lens and it still works. It works really well. Now let's talk about price. This lens in Australia retails for around $200. How cheap is that? For $200, I will just say just buy new. Canon offers these days like a five year warranty. It's fantastic value and I just love it. I just love it overall. Anyway, that was it for today. If you like this video, I would like to ask you if you could please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And also hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Woo